So if any of you have gotten a genetic test or gotten a little curious about 23andMe or Ancestry.com and saw the words SNP, which stands for single nucleotide polymorphism and mutations, and got confused between an SNP and a mutation, then I'm here to help. All right, let's kick it. The difference between SNPs and mutations is a common question and also a really good one. So don't feel dumb when you're confused about this. To make things clear, a mutation and an SNP are two different ways to describe genetic variants or changes in your DNA. I touched upon this previously, and if you're wondering why there's so many words to describe changes in the DNA, it is because of technology advancing like Lightning McQueen and the need to define new discoveries while satisfying classic definitions. So let's start from the base up. You all have heard of a mutation, and how you understand it is similar to how it's defined. Classic definition is that a mutation is a change in the DNA, and they're defined as somatic mutations or germline mutations. And typically these changes are associated with a phenotype or physical manifestation. And this definition sticks when you're comparing SNPs where a mutation is simply a misspelling in your DNA, aka change in your DNA, and causes a detrimental or possibly beneficial phenotype. Now, let's do SNP. Let's define this, which again stands for a single nucleotide polymorphism. And simply is also a misspelling in your DNA, but not associated with a phenotype or, again, physical manifestation. Oh, man. Rather, these misspellings are used to ident as identity markers or genetic markers specifically. As people live, we are all collecting misspellings in our DNA or we're collecting variants. And smart genomic scientists use these misspellings as markers for a range of applications. This is how 23andMe finds your relatives and your ethnicity. They match your misspellings or your SNPs with other people's SNPs around the world and let you know where in the world your DNA is similar. To make SNPs easy to understand, let's set up an example. Let's say you have 100 people in a crowd who all love pizza. Completely normal people. Nothing wrong at all. But... We got some crazy pizza people in the crowd who love pineapple pizza. This love for pineapple pizza is an SMP that can be used to identify people from a crowd. How do we find them? Similar to how genomic scientists will run a program to identify people from a database, we'll just shout into the crowd, who here loves pineapple pizza? And next thing you know, you have all these crazy people climbing on top of each other, shouting their defense for pineapple pizza. And this is how SNPs are primarily understood and used. So for a recap, mutation is a misspelling in your DNA that can cause a detrimental or beneficial phenotype, while SNPs are just misspellings in your DNA that are primarily used to as identifiable, 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 identifiable markers in your DNA. To hit this home, a lot of people will be introduced to these terms through a medical genetics report. In this report, they will say you are either positive, negative, or inconclusive. Positive results mean they have found a misspelling that has a mutation, and this result may confirm a diagnosis, indicate that you are a carrier, indicate an increased risk of developing a disease, such as cancer, in the future. A negative result means there was no misspellings found in the DNA under consideration or the DNA that was being looked at. This would indicate a person is not affected by a particular disorder, not a carrier of a specific genetic mutation, or does not have an increased risk for a specific disease. However, this does not mean you are free of any problems, as genetic tests are only focused on specific segments of DNA and not your whole genome, as this is expensive, but, 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 it's getting cheaper, it's getting cheaper. SNPs come into play with test results that say inconclusive or indeterminate, as the genetic test has found a variant or a misspelling in your DNA, but the variant is not associated with any increased risk or disease, which means it's just an SNP, it's just a marker. This variant could be harmless or it could be disease causing, but that's what genetics and genomics research is for, to understand and find out what all these variants do. So that's all, thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day, bye.